getting my nails done tomorrow, I promise. This is the last video with this hideousness. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and trying on the new Key X Chrissy Teigen sunglasses collection. So this is a collab between Chrissy Teigen and Key Australia, the very social media famous sunglasses line that we see a lot on the gram and all over social media. I got sent their PR package. There's two trays of sunglasses, as you can see. There's a picture of Chrissy Teigen inside. There's even a sunglass holder in there. It's very cute and convenient. Folds up into a little envelope. So basically this is a straightforward video if you want to see any of these Chrissy Teigen X Q Australia shades on an actual human face, then you've come to the right place. This is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm also gonna be reviewing all of these different styles, talking about the quality, scrutinizing them basically as we do on my channel. If you're not familiar, I conduct mostly beauty reviews, but sometimes I like to throw in a couple of other things in there. Remember to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions or concerns. Key X Chrissy review, trial, and verdict. Here we come. The first style being Jezebel Rimless. Basically, this looks like a really nice driving shade. Kind of squared, but also vintage-y feeling. This is a pinkish, bluish sort of tint. Rimless frame, as you can see. I have my notes over here, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cheating. I did go online on keyaustralia.com just to check out the prices. The sunglasses weren't all the same price across the board. It kind of fell in a range. These, I could not find online so I can't tell you how much they are. I'm guessing they are either 55, 60, or 65. But anyway, enough talking. Let's put these babies on. Ooh, cute. This is a nice driving shade. Now, if I actually was not a real New Yorker, and if I lived in LA and had a driver's license to drive, then these would be my driving shades. You know what I'm saying? Let's fix the nose pads in here to make them a little bit more Asian face friendly. And boom, they fit even better. I like these. These are very cute, like I said, kind of retro, but also very chill vibes, very Cali. We also have the Jezebel Rimless in this black fade, fixing the nose pads, because we know I have to. Trying these babies on. Ooh, I don't know. This is making me feel just a little bit John Lennon, perhaps Yoko Ono, you know what I'm saying? Vibes all the way. I like these. I wish I knew what the price on these were, but really, really cute. Next up, we have the Jezebel Chain. So we have two colors in the Jezebel Chain, the pink and also the blue. So kind of perfect if you have a gender reveal party, get you a pair of both. Also adjustable nose pads, boom, boom, let's adjust these babies. I like to just squeeze mine and make them as narrow as possible because I use them as a sort of extension for my nose bridge because my nose bridge is so flat to my face that my cheeks protrude a little bit further than my nose. If there's no nose pads, then unfortunately my sunglasses tend to sit on my cheeks and rub off my makeup and also cause creases and premature wrinklage, so we don't want any of that. If you have a face like mine, you need nose pads. Girl, these are ferocious, super, super cute, very girly, very dainty, but also kind of edgy and glam at the same time. I'm looking at my monitor because I'm really appreciating the vibe. I feel like it goes with my whole backdrop over here. Kind of Chanel, I would say, kind of Chanel. Let's try it on the blue Jezebel chain. So the chain is on the inner portion. You can clearly see it from the outside. Let's put these over my hair. Let's do something different. Ooh, sometimes when adjusting the nose pads, you have to make sure that they are totally even. Otherwise, when you put the sunglasses on your nose, they can just sit a little lopsided. Cute. Not with this fit, but definitely a mood. Feeling bluesy, feeling moody, feeling a little under the weather, perhaps. Jezebel chains are $65 each. Next up, we have the VIP, and I have two colors for the VIP, the black and also the pink navy. I don't know if you can catch the navy. It definitely reflects a little bit more navy, but these are cool. These have kind of a triangular detail over here. The shape itself is more trapezoidal. There's no nose pad. So I'm hesitant, but it is Chrissy Teigen and everybody tells me I look like her So hopefully this will sit on my face just the way that it sits on her face. Let's go for it As cute as they are as diva as they feel they just do not sit right on my face So if I put them actually more over they're like kind of leaning more on one side of the nose than on the other Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my crookedness VIPs are going to have to be set 
that aside, I'm gonna actually call in Lee at the end of the video. He has a much narrower face and he has a much more prominent nose bridge. So I'm gonna have him try on all the shades that don't really fit me. The first style being VIP. So here just for reference are the black VIPs, $65 for this style. And again, these just will not fit on my face. There is no way. If I want at least this much room between my cheek and my shade, I would need some massive nose bridge extensions. I actually like to use some of the stickers that you can buy on Amazon just to make this section a little bit more narrow so that it sits on my nose. But this here looks really, really wide. So I don't even know if that'll work for me. Okay, setting them aside. Next up, we have another frame that I don't believe is going to fit me. And it is called the after hours style. Looks like this, comes in two colors, this gorgeous tortoise shell brown fade, and also this polarized black smoke. The polarized black smoke is $65, whereas the brown smoke tortoise is $55. Now I will mention that this particular style, the polarized style, was particularly hard to clean. It came so super dusty and so full of lint, and no matter what I did, whether I used a t-shirt or an actual professional type of cloth, the lint just would not remove. It was just sticking everywhere. And for some reason, these are just a little bit problematic when it comes to that. Matter of fact, the more I try to clean it, the more it just slides around. So keep that in mind with this particular color of the after hour style. Again, this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. Oddly enough, this kind of fits. Definitely feels a pinch heavy on my face just because it's sitting literally on my nostrils. If I push it a little bit up, it runs the risk of ruining my makeup in this area area here, but it's not as bad as the previous style. I'm still gonna put them aside and I'm still gonna have Lee try them, but I like the way they look. Let's try on the $55 one. Surprisingly, a lot more comfortable on the face. Why? I like this one. This one's making me feel a little bit more like Victoria Beckham rather than Chrissy Teigen. I am mad. Next up, we have another oversized style. This one is called Ever After. It comes in two colors here, brown fade tortoise shell, and this one that looks kind of minty blue, but it's actually gray. Kind of like an oversized nerd glass type of style, but I like it. I especially like this one. I hope it looks great. All right, trying on the Ever After, $55. Whoa, everything just looks and feels so different in this room. These definitely have a very cool bluer type of shade. So <laughs> my entire mood just changed. I feel like a different person. I don't know if these actually look cute on me. Perhaps maybe if I was wearing something different, maybe definitely different hair, but they're kind of nerdy chic and I'm kind of feeling this whole stilo. That's the word that I will use here. I'm feeling this stilo. I kind of see this with some bell bottom jeans with just like a white t-shirt that's tied right under the boot. I see it. Do you see it? These do not have the nose pads and they actually fit my face. Shocker. Okay, after hours in tortoiseshell, let's see what you got. These fit great as well. I like this oversized style. I like this shade. I feel like it's covering my face, but it's also adding something mysterious to it. I can see these being worn on a nice hot summer day, perhaps in California, riding in your convertible with like a nice shawl wrapped all around holding your hair back. Do you see it? That is the vision that I'm getting right now. This lens is also filtering the whole lighting in the room. It's making it feel just a little bit more summery, a little bit more warm. Doesn't fit as great as the gray, but they fit. Ooh, you guys. Next, we have the coolest looking shade ever. This one is called Stop and Stare Twist. Look at this one. It's got a glitter lens. It's so cool. These are definitely a little bit more disco, a little bit more Miami. It's a pink to blue fade with this twisted frame that almost looks glittered as well. Stop and Stare Twist is $65. I like this very kind of retro, but 90s and also 70s and also very current twist on a shade. Let's try these out. Who is she? I have no name for her. I have no vibe. I have no description. This is just a feel and it's cool. It's making me actually want to dress up again in bell bottoms. I would say these shades would probably be great for Coachella or for festivals, for the summertime, for when you're feeling your best and you want to dress yourself up in all types of accessories, including shades, including rhinestones and fake tattoos and braids and color, all of it. Pile it all on. That's the girl. I like these. I can see myself reaching for these. Next style is called Nightfall. Nightfall is $65, comes in two colors. So this one is a dark brown. There's a tortoise shell rim. 
cool, very, very cool. This is kind of like a shield sunny, definitely feels a little bit crooked on my face, like I need to keep adjusting and readjusting it, but I like the shield, I like the fact that it's darkening everything, it's not really changing the color too much, it's just smoking it out, and moreover, it's making me feel like a badass, like a Terminator badass Time for the black. Very, very cool. I even like it with what I'm wearing today. Kind of just easy going, 90s vibes. If I had one of those big chains, it would be an even more vibin' type of vibe. But these are cool and they sit right on my nose. They don't really touch my cheeks. I appreciate that. I like this one. Nightfall, they're coming through for me. The two final styles are blue light shields, which means that they are not sunglasses and you could basically use them as prescription lenses or you can just use them as blue light protector shades. So the first one, that I have here is called Jezebel Glitter. You remember the Jezebel Rimless and the Jezebel Chain. So this is from that same family of squared but kind of retro looking shades. Very thin frames. This Jezebel Glitter frame has a tiny rim of glitter all around the frame, which is why it's called glitter. So it definitely feels very cute and just a little bit more glam. So this is a reading glass, but it feels just so dainty and so cute and cool at the same time. I like these a lot. And because I'm on the computer all the time, I spent probably more hours than I'd like to admit behind the computer. So these are definitely for me. And the final blue light protector frame style is called the All Nighter. I already have the All Nighter in a different color from Chrissy's original collab. This one here is really cute because it's a tortoise shell frame that fades into clear, $55. And these definitely make me feel like a good girl, like I do good deeds. Like if you want to go on an interview for something where you need to come off good and nice and kind, <laughs> this is the frame that I would suggest you wear. I'm kidding you guys, I'm kidding. You need to get your job on terms of good merit, okay? But just saying, these make me feel very just pleasant and kind and I feel like I lead more with my kind side when I have this shade on. Oh, and just for reference, let me show you what the black frame in the all-nighter looks like. Also very nice, but perhaps even a little nerdier. I love it. Well, hello there. Excuse to face. It is Sunday. I told you he's much prettier than I am. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a couple of frames here that just did not fit my wide, flat, pancake face because you are much more narrow and much more blessed with the nose bridge. We're gonna have you try on some styles, starting with something that is probably not going to be very flattering on you, VIP. Wait for it. Hot. Shut up. Can we just test the space between your cheek and the frame? Are you trying any fillers? <laughs> <laughs> just saying, let me know. Thank you. You're welcome. What's this? Say VIP. VIP. <laughs> yeah. Hot. You look like your mom, you do. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Thank you. We have the After Hours Polarize. This is the really dusty one. All right, and let's do the Tortoise Shell After Hours. After Hours Tortoise Shell. They're pretty much the same shape. What's the difference between After Hours and VIP? Hello. They all have, they all have that little corner thing. They're completely different. Oh, my bad. I mean, they're all slightly cat-eyed. Every yeah, single that's frame what I meant. is yeah. slightly lifted up, mm -hmm. which I think is yeah, it's not like, just like know, a current thing. These are pretty square. Do you want to try those just for reference? Sure. These are the Nightfall. Nightfall. Yeah, see, these are different. Those look cute on you. Yeah, all right. You want to try Nightfall in black? These I like better. They fit my face though, so you can't have them. But thanks for playing. Thank okay, you, baby. you're welcome, baby. Love you. Love you too. Sorry, Hi, that guys. was cringy. These Jezebel glitters are clearly my favorites from the bunch, and I'm gonna keep them on because they are a look, and I am someone who likes to change up my look, even if it means wearing frames where I don't need a prescription. If that's what it means, that's what I'm gonna do, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna keep these on. I really like these. I feel like they give me just that cute sort of edgy, dorky, nerdy vibe, but also kind of cool and approachable vibe at the same time. And I gotta say, I quite like a lot of these styles. I will say a few of these styles are not Asian face friendly, which is surprising to me because Chrissy Teigen is supposed to be my doppelganger, duh. And if it fits her, how come it doesn't fit me? So in my case, for someone who has to try on a lot of shades to make sure that they fit my face, it would be nice to have an option of having some of these frames in Asian fit. 
because Asian fit sunglasses is a thing. I said it before in my JLo X Key collaboration review, and I'll say it again with this one. I think inclusivity is everything. But having said all that, I really do quite like this collection. I think it's fresh, I think it's fun. I think there's a lot of different festival and summertime elements in this collection. And there's a lot of styles that I personally gravitate towards and would continue wearing. I think this is a great collaboration. I will give them an A minus because Hey, I found a lot of shades that fit my face and I found a lot of cute styles of that That is my review and that is my verdict and I am sticking to it I hope you guys enjoyed this video Thank you for watching and for subscribing because you've made it to the end So I know you hit that button because it's right here I love you guys. I will see you in my next one and uh, check out some of those other videos right here more reviews more makeup more me for you